Hey guys, welcome back. And for our remainder of our Star Wars week, I feel like we can't really do a model rocket launch because I don't really have a Star Wars themed model rocket to launch off. So like we're just gonna conclude it with this. Our random Thursday, you guys really, 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 like really, really, really love to see to love that uh, pen and paper games I did. So, we are doing a Star Wars themed pen and paper games. We're only doing one though because that's all I know. Okay, let's start. So to start here, we're just gonna uh, straighten out our paper here a little bit. And so, you, the Rebel Alliance, or you can be the Empire, this, this game requires two people. Because, alright, so let's draw the, so you're battling around the Death Star. So just draw a big circle in the middle. And then kind of decorate how you want. I'm just kind of drawing a little circle and then another teeny dot and kind of like a stripe. Make it look like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> and then kind of add some lasers going in so that it doesn't look like a Pokemon ball. Alright, let me zoom in here so you guys can see that better. Oh, there's my zoom button. Aha, here it is. See how I kind of did the Death Star there? Okay. Oopsies. And then you're going to draw your X wing. So you're going to take a big X, the an X wing, and you're going to kind of draw a stick, like a popsicle stick on top of it. And you're going to draw lines on the little ends of the X. And then you're going to add engines. And for the, uh, the TIE fighters, it's just a circle, line out, line out. Uh, straight line, straight line. So let me get three of these drawn and then we'll continue. Okay, so I've got the three drawn here and then so this needs two players, so I'm going to be playing both here. But anyway, so now you're going to draw some asteroids, just some kind of lumps. Don't have to be fancy or anything, just to kind of prohibit and kind of block the spaces in between them. I did four, you can do five, a million, or whatever to make it harder. So then, after you do that, I'm gonna be the Rebel Alliance and the Empire, so the, so you're gonna put your pen right down in front of your spacecraft and flick it. Oh, that wasn't a very good flick. Flick, ah, come on. Anyways, so that is where my spaceship has now warped to or moved to. So let me get on the other side here so I can do the uh, TIE Fighter. See, so now it moves to there. Now this moves to there. And some of the penalties here are if you hit one of these asteroids, you lose two turns. So we're going to hit this there. Ooh, almost hit the asteroid. That would have been bad for the Empire. And then we're going to hit that. Ooh, we almost hit the Death Star. So we're just going to end up there because that's where my pen ended up. So it kind of gets a bit messy. But I'm going to progress the game a little bit. And I'll show you when one of the first uh, aircraft or whatever when we get to the opportunity to be able to destroy it. So it's the Rebel Alliance's turn right here, and they're right up here. So if the Rebel Alliance is able to put a line through where the TIE Fighter would be, the TIE Fighter gets destroyed. All right, come on, Rebel Alliance. Oh, move over here a bit. Come on, Rebel Alliance. Oh, look, it got it. See the line right there. So now this is destroyed. So then you continue on. So then you say, all right, now it's this guy's turn, and he's going to start moving out. Oh, oh, now this guy comes over here. Oh, no, he ended up over here, didn't he? Whoop. Oh, man, that wasn't a very good hit. So that's how you kind of progress the game and end up actually finishing. So if one side's three spacecraft are destroyed, then it turns out that there you go. Like, you're done for. Alright, let's see what happens when we hit the Death Star. 
Okay, so here, let's just pretend that since no one likes the Empire, that the Empire over here has... Okay, let's take this TIE Fighter and go whoop! Mm, there you go. Whoop! Boom! Explosion! Now this guy is gone too. So if it turns out you make a wrong move and you send one of your uh, craft into the Death Star, well then you're finished. And if it turns out you hit the asteroid, then you're finished too because the uh, other team gets two turns plus the one it already had, so it gets three turns. If you want to spice up the game a little bit, you can add a hero, like Han Solo. It's here if I can draw the Millennium Falcon. Mm, let's make a simple one because it's got a circle, and it's kind of got that on it, and it's kind of got that. Whoop, whoop. So you can have the Millennium Falcon, or you can have, you guys got to see that okay, right? So you can have the Millennium Falcon, or Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And it's almost the same, except it's got some curves on it. And you can decide what the superpowers for these are. Normally, it's Han Solo has an extra life because he's so good at flying. And Darth Vader, he gets two turns per every so instead of having just one turn like a normal fighter he gets two flicks so well that kind of wraps it up for this video if you want to see more like this or if you want me to do more themed weeks in the future like i did this themed star wars week remember to like subscribe and click that bell thanks for watching bye